Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a vlog. It's been a long time since I've vlogged. I honestly feel extremely out of practice, but today should be a pretty big day. We are having our new bedroom rug being delivered today. We've got the outdoor coffee table finally being delivered today. And we also might be going to the mall to pick out some stuff for an event that I'm speaking at in New York. So I'll definitely fill you in more on that. But today we're starting off making our breakfast. I wanted to show you guys my brand new electric griddle that I got while Jason had abandoned town. We were making breakfast for the guys on our tiny little cast iron skillet. And I was like, this is my opportunity to take on full mom mode and get an electric griddle. And honestly guys, it has changed my life. This thing cooks so evenly. It's the Jojirushi brand, which is the same brand as our rice cooker. It's phenomenal. It like actually disassembles all the parts so you can wash it really easily. But anyway, we're making bacon this morning, which is a treat. We got bacon from this guy at Breadhead Stranger, which is this taco place here in Nashville. We were sitting and eating our tacos and this guy came up and handed us a pack of bacon from Giffords Bacon. They are in East Nashville and they actually supply the bacon to Redheaded Stranger in a lot of restaurants. But he handed us this free pack of bacon and it's so good. We had it yesterday and then we're killing it off today. It's like premium fish bacon. Guys, it's been literally so long since I've vlogged. I think it's been over two weeks, which normally I don't not vlog during the week. I normally try to do like one vlog a week, but to catch you guys up, let's see. Jason pulled something in his neck a few days ago. So <laughs> he's also right here. He was like completely immobile a couple days ago. We took him to the chiropractor. He's actually feeling a lot better. So that's happened. We hosted a pool party on Memorial Day. We had like 30 to 40 people over. It was nuts, but it was so fun. And we were literally outside by the pool from like 1 to 6.30 p.m. And we just had people come and go all day. And we grilled, everybody brought snacks and stuff. It was very fun. And then previously to that, Jason had abandoned town for a couple of days and I, kind of didn't like take those days off, but I definitely was like not vlogging that week just because we had people in the house who were staying with us. So we were like hosting them and they were working with Jason. So that week was like kind of chaotic. But other than that, I think that's kind of it. Honestly, I went to the new parachute home store here in Nashville. You guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that. But other than that, not a whole lot's been going on. Thought about vlogging this past week. I don't know, I felt like I was like gonna have to make stuff up to like do with you guys. I'm just gonna wait until we've actually got stuff going on. So I've got an event tonight that I'm going to. We're gonna be going tomorrow night to Fifth and Broadway and we're just kind of spending the day together today and then a little bit tomorrow. It's basically what you guys have missed. Not a whole lot, but I'm excited to be back and vlogging. We've got potato master and the bacon which is absolutely being blown out by the skylight going on right now. gonna be that person that had a bunch of different steps to making the bed growing up i literally never made my bed ever and then starting in like college and like when we got married i started making the bed right before i would crawl into the bed but now i make it in the morning because it's just so pretty this is all parachute home we actually went into the store in the gulch because they just opened up their largest retail store here in Nashville and got this pillow to go in front of our bedding. But all of this is parachute, even this little 
thing at the bottom of the bed. It's, you know, a very complicated bed to make, but it looks so good. And I love all the different textures and the different layers. And then our bed frame, we're still obsessed with. This is Crate and Barrel and we love it. We still haven't found side tables. We actually were thinking about getting some from Parachute, but we went into the store and they look like they're a different wood than the wood on our bed frame. So we're not sure it's gonna match now. So I think we are pivoting on the side tables. So we're still working on that. But honestly, these from Target do just fine. We got these when we first got married and they work really well, but we're just wanting something, I think a little bit higher quality and a little bit more sturdy. This is the bedroom as of now. I took my little plant out of the corner here and I've got him in the sunroom propped up right there. I feel like he needed just a little bit of extra sun these last few days. So I've just had him out here, but all of our plants out here are seriously popping off right now. You can see my box of Missouri jewelry that I opened yesterday. I just <laughs> did not clean up after myself, but we have got lots of new growth on this little guy. This is a brand new leaf. This actually opened up overnight. This was closed yesterday. I check on my plants every single day to see what new growth they have. We've got one more little shoot that's coming up here. That would be a leaf. And then these ones, I definitely overwatered this one. This one had a couple leaves that were rotted that fell off and it looks like, yeah, these are not doing super good. So I had this in the living room, but I had overwatered and it was starting to like rot. And so I brought it out here because everything dries out really fast out here because it's so warm. And then same with this guy, the Soil was just not drying up after like a week and a half. So I decided to bring it out here and just try to quickly get that soil dry so that this guy doesn't get root rot as well. This one is so beautiful. I got this at Hewitt Garden Center last time I was there and it had some dry patches on it cause I don't think it was watered enough at Hewitt's. So I kind of overcompensated when I brought him home and I think I might've watered him a little bit too much. So we're finding our balance with this one. And then my other rubber tree plant is popping off. It's got like five new leaves going on right now. All of these are new. He's grown so much since we brought it to the house last year and he's getting really, really big. I'm gonna show you one more plant before I go get ready because our fiddle leaf tree, if you've been a part of my channel for a while, you know I'm obsessed with this tree, has got three new leaves that are coming in and he already grew three leaves on a different branch. So he's getting really tall to get on this piano bench here so that I can reach it. If you look up here, look at those three new leaves. Oh, they're small, but they're mighty. And then these three right here are the new leaves. Look how big they grew. So these came in while we were in Michigan and they've gotten huge since they sprouted. So I'm hoping that these ones also get big like that, but right now they're just little baby leaves. Oh, hey guys, uh, it's 4.22 and uh, gosh, I think the last thing I talked to you guys about today was my plants and how excited I was about all the growth on my plants. Um, this day took such a different turn. We were not expecting today to go like this. First of all, we were expecting the furniture delivery to come at two and it's now not supposed to come until like four to six. So we ended up like wasting a lot of that time and we didn't go to the mall. And then also during the day, we found out some really like bummer news relating to Jason's work. And so today just kind of took a, a downturn. Obviously with anything like that, we like to be there for each other. So I just wanted to be with Jason today and not really vlog and you know be on camera and stuff So I spent the day with him and we just like processed that together, but now I'm back um, I'm about to go to an event at the Thompson Hotel in the Gulch in Nashville at 5:30. So I need to leave in the next like 30 45 minutes, but right now I'm drinking a liquid IV in my Stanley. These are the electrolyte drinks and I'm drinking the strawberry one. I really, really like these. This is not sponsored by the way. Jason's like obsessed with these though. He's been drinking the grape ones and they're just an incredible way to get super quick hydration. And sometimes when I don't drink enough water, I get a little like 
lightheaded from drinking too much coffee. Um, so I'm drinking one of these. I thought I would do a very, very quick unboxing with you guys before I go to this event. I think I already know what I'm gonna wear to the event tonight, but I got some new shoes in from Alohas that I wanted to open up with you guys and we'll go from there. And then hopefully the furniture will arrive today. It kind of tastes like you're drinking a like strawberry Kool-Aid drink. It's so good. There we go. All right. We've got the T3 Edge. This is something that I saw that they released recently. I saw it on Instagram. I was so intrigued by it. So this is a brush with almost like straightener plates on the edges. So it's supposed to help with frizz and obviously you like brush it through. So this is the brush. It has three heat settings. Oh, I love it in this charcoal. So it's really, really nicely weighted. Like it's the weight of a curling iron, but in a hairbrush. And then you can see the plates on it here are supposed to like smooth out your, out your hair. So you're supposed to go like this so that the plates like hit the hair. And it's supposed to make it really smooth. So I'm so excited to try this. I'm probably gonna try it next time I wash my hair and do a blowout and take this and like really smooth it out. But I actually am obsessed with the like sturdiness and weight of this. It's a lot like more weighted and like durable feeling than I expected it to be. So I'm excited to try that out. Also, I think I've mentioned this before, but I have a T3 discount code that is an evergreen code. So you can use it. I'll link it down below. I think it's always in the description box, but I don't really ever talk about it. So if you're looking for a discount code, I have it in my description box. All right, let's do the Aloha shoes. Alohas makes some of my favorite shoes. If you guys have been with my channel for a while now, you've probably seen a pair of brown suede strappy heels. I've had those for a good bit over a year now. I don't think two years, but I've had them for a while and I wear them with literally everything. And I just got two new styles from Alohas and I just love their shoes. The quality is so, so good. And I was thinking about maybe wearing one of these tonight depending on if it matches my dress and stuff like that. First shoe are these super puffy square toed nude heels. Oh, put it on my foot. Oh, you can't really tell, but she cute. Apparently I love a nude heel because I got another one that's nude. And these are a little strappy number, the little toe loop. Oh, I love how strappy it is. And then you tie it, I think in the back. I think you like cross it in the front. This is so flattering, isn't it? You cross in the front and then you tie it. Okay, I could honestly wear these tonight. These are so cute. I have pants on, by the way. I, I have Abercrombie shorts with like little bike shorts underneath it. Wait, those are adorable. I love these. Last box. I think this is from from a denim brand. I can't remember which brand it is. I think it was Paige Denim maybe. Oh yes, it is from Paige Denim. And we've got a few little pieces here. This little knit top, cute. Look at the sleeve detail. That's so pretty. So that's really cute. And then we've got these paper bag shorts in this beautiful like dusty red color. And then, We've got the Danny short, the high rise A-line short. <gasps> Cute! Ooh, I'm so excited. I've always wanted to try page denim. So I'm gonna actually, I guess I'll just try all that stuff on and with the shoes and we'll do a little try on. I've got about 30 minutes before I need to leave. Okay, if you watched my favorite denim short video, you know that I'm obsessed with the Goldie D shorts. These might actually be a rival short to those shorts. These are the Paige Denim Danny short and oh my gosh, they are so flattering. Perfect length, not too short, not too long. I love the distressing at the bottom. They've got the slit in the side, super high-waisted, really, really flattering. I'm kind of obsessed. Also, I've got it on with the Walmart knit tank and I love the tank with these shorts. 
so cute. Could throw on a sneaker with this. Okay, I kind of thought I knew what I was gonna wear tonight, but now I'm like, this is so cute. I might throw the other heels on, but I'm thinking about maybe wearing this now. I really love this top. I'm gonna need to throw on some kind of tank underneath it instead, or just a different bra, but I love this shirt so much it's so so cute and then the shorts are so flattering on i love the cuffs at the bottom there are paperback short you can tie this as tight as you want it this is what they look like in the back and then these are the shoes the little puffy shoes and they're so stinking cute i have decided that this is the outfit that i'm gonna wear tonight I was gonna wear a gingham dress, but I decided to pivot after opening this up. I think it's so cute. So I'm gonna wear this tonight and I'm gonna be vlogging on my phone. So I'm gonna leave my camera here, but you guys will definitely see the event. guys it is the next day and i got home last night at 10 p.m which was so much later than i was expecting i really thought that i would be home by like 8 8 30 like 9 at the very latest but stuff just kind of got delayed at the event it had started 30 minutes late and then by the time the dinner had started the dinner had started an hour late and so things were just running a little bit slower but it was so good going out last night i just i don't go to many events these days i think i've talked about this before but ever since the pandemic i've been just super choosy about where i place my time especially when it's like i could be here with jason having quality time with him time is just way more valuable to me and i was so excited to go last night it was a much smaller event than i had expected for some reason i really thought it was going to be a big blogger event but it was actually an event for curator it's like a membership that was created by rachel zoe the membership is like ten dollars a month and that gives you access to extremely discounted curated bundles so you could get a bundle that's normally like 450 dollars or 200 dollars. so that's like what the membership is so last night i really thought that it was gonna be a like influencer blogger event but it ended up being mostly just members so people who had the membership and then there were only four of us who were actually like there as bloggers and influencers and so it ended up being a really small private dinner so the members were not at the dinner the dinner was just for the panelists the people with the brand and then the four of us so it was a really sweet intimate private dinner and i got to just catch up with some girls that i haven't seen at other events recently i've noticed that when brands do events now their invite list is not nearly as big as they used to be i feel like they used to throw events and it was like you couldn't even really talk to everyone because there were so many people but last night was maybe like 12 14 people at this table so we got dinner at the thompson after the event which was really sweet but oh my gosh guys i have not been out at 10 p.m especially for work in a very very long time i felt like i was not like being crazy but i was like dang i'm out at like 10 p.m right now on a thursday and one really funny thing that happened which was like also kind of just disturbing and gross was we were sitting in the like downstairs restaurant area in a private room and we were open up to one of the main streets in the gulch and there's like this giant window and this is at like 9 p.m at this point this single dude who was clearly, I don't know if he was like drunk or if he was just having a good time, but he was just by himself. He like walked up to the window. None of us were looking at the window because we were all talking and he like banged on the window super loud. It scared all of us one. And then he just started like yelling and then he like lifted up his shirt and just pressed his body up against the glass. It was so gross. We were all just like, ugh, why? It's 9 p.m. That's far too early for you to be doing stuff like that. It's also a Thursday. Like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> anyway. So that was very 
funny. I don't know. That that is like what I would describe downtown Nashville like, and not and not always, but the Gulch especially, and like actual Broadway and like downtown downtown is a lot of that, which is why. If you're from Nashville, you don't go down there a lot. I truly only go into town for work. Like tonight, I'm gonna be taking you guys to Fifth and Broadway, which is downtown, downtown. And there's just really cool like food hall down there. Parking is insanely expensive, but there's a launch from Bite Beauty. They opened up a store in Nashville where you can go and make a custom lipstick shade. So I'm going to that tonight. I'm taking Jason because it's just a single appointment that you go and make your shade. We're doing that, but I thought while we were down there, we could go to like Fifth and Broadway and just have a date night, go to a restaurant down there, or just go to one of the um, food stalls that are down there. Cause it's a really cool place to go if you're not from here. And I actually like doing the Fifth and Broadway thing every once in a while. So that should be pretty fun. It is a Friday night. So it's gonna be a little crazy, but sometimes I think it's really good to just get out in the chaos and I don't know, it's good people watching at least. But I am putting on some makeup here. Jason is in a session right now. He's, so he's upstairs writing. You might hear them a little bit in this vlog. I just applied the new Bare Lip Skin Tint, my favorite, you guys know that. Power Flex Concealer from Tarte. And then setting it with a Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So that's my base. Very natural looking, but I love this because you do get like a pretty decent amount of coverage, but it's so light. I want to talk about this really quick because I'm obsessed with this bronzer. This is the Gucci Beauty Bronzer One. It is just so beautiful and it blends out really nicely. I've got it in shade number two. But second of all, this combo of this bronzer and this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and blush brush is so good. This is maybe one of my favorite bronzing brushes I've ever tried. I've tried a bunch of different brands of brushes, but this is like the perfect size and shape and density for a bronzer. Like I use a bunch of different brushes from all different brands. So I'm not like brand exclusive to brushes, but this brush guys, this, <laughs> I don't know something about this. It is the most pleasing feeling on the face. It's so incredibly soft. It blends out the bronzer seamlessly and it, it just is the perfect density. I don't know how to describe it other than like, it's not too thick. It's not too like flimsy. It applies bronzer, so airbrushed looking. It's incredible and mixed with this bronzer, which is just stunning on the skin. It's a combo I'm loving and I just thought I would share. I got a new blush from Patrick Ta. I ended up buying a Gucci lipstick that I didn't like the shade on me. And so I went into Sephora to exchange it. And I found out that Sephora in store doesn't have Gucci Beauty. They only have it online. So I had a credit basically from exchanging that product. And I was trying to figure out what to get. So I ended up buying the Patrick Ta blush in She's Adorable. Really, really pretty peachy. It's like, a, it's between like a coral and a pink. It, it's on the more coral side. It's stunning on. And it has the slightest bit of like reflectant in it. So it's really, really pretty on the cheeks. And then I've been eyeing this palette every single time I get in line at Sephora, you know where they have the little minis and they're so tempting because they're miniature. So you think they're gonna be really cheap, but they're still kind of expensive. <laughs> I got the Natasha Denona palette. This is the mini glam palette. And I actually went to link this on my Instagram stories and the Sephora photo for this palette does not do this palette justice. I like saw the photo on Sephora and I was like, ew, that looks awful. But in person, personally, I think it's the most beautiful palette. It doesn't really lean warm or cool. It's very neutral. Like there's there's this one shade that kind of leans a little bit cool, but it's so beautiful and it's great for a single shade eye looks or also if you want to build it up, there is one darker shade. So I've been loving this. It's also really small. So I'm probably gonna take this to New York. Maybe this and like one of my Charlotte Tilbury quad shadows. I'm really glad I tried this because I've been eyeing it for the longest time and this specific colorway is my favorite. So anyway, I love the Patrick Ta blush. I wanted to go in and get the cream blush duo for summer, but they have been sold out. They've been sold out of the cream blushes and they were sold out of the eyeshadow palette that I really, really wanted to get. They have two palettes. There's the original and then there's the number two palette. And I really, really want the original, but they have been sold out since, mm, not since 
Black Friday, since the Sephora sale, which was in March, April. So they've been sold out for a while. So I just ended up getting this powder blush and I just adore this shade. It's really, really pretty, extremely buildable in color. I'll show you guys the natural light in a second. I've got a lot going on. I've got someone mowing next door. I've got Jason playing guitar in the background. And I'm just here trying to show you guys my makeup look, but I'm gonna do my eyeshadow here. I have started filling in my brows just a little bit since my bangs don't cover them anymore. And I've been using the Rare Beauty little compact here because it comes with this tiny brush. And I only fill in this front part and I just do it really light handedly. But I feel like it just makes the front of my brow like a little bit more defined. And it's just that like, it just feels like the cherry on top step right now in my routine. Something that I don't always do, but like if I really want my makeup to look good, I, I will do a little bit on the brow. I just think it makes them look a little bit more defined so i have been doing my brows again which i have not done my brows since before i had bangs which was maybe 2018 i think i got bangs at the end of 2018 so it's been a long time this is the jones road miracle bomb in on natural the basically clear one mascara i'm gonna use the jones road mascara i've been loving this if you guys watched my full review that was one of my favorite things from the line. This is the brush of this mascara. It's super large and voluminous. I really like this too because it doesn't bleed under the eyes. So this is the finished makeup look and the mascara and the eyeshadow palette are so good. The bronzer just looks perfectly blended in and then the skin tint is so natural. I finished off the look with a Gucci lipstick. This is in the shade My Cousin Rachel. Look at this packaging though. Isn't that not so stunning? It's like weighted, so nice, but it's like a balmy kind of peachy nude. So this is my makeup. I'm going to throw on some clothes and I actually need to pick up our house before I do anything else because it's kind of a disaster right now. All right, feeling slightly better. <laughs> Does feel good to have stuff just kind of off the counters because Definitely just dropped things here all week long and never picked it up until today. So feels really good. But Jay was just finished his right. And so I've convinced him to help me get the outdoor coffee table set up outside. We've got a new rug for the bedroom. I don't know if we can do that on our own because we would need to lift this bed, get the rug underneath it. But maybe I can at least show you it a little bit. It actually kind of would like match the pillow. <laughs> and then we also have an outdoor umbrella from Lulu in Georgia that we wanted to have for Memorial Day, but we didn't have a base for it. So we finally got a base for it. And so we might set that up as well. Lots of stretches. Lots of stretches for the neck. Yeah. How's it feeling? Yes. This is awesome. She is, it's kind of bright, but it's a cement top, cement base, and then it's this geometric base. So that is the coffee table, and it's a lot bigger than I thought, so I really like the size of it. Next, I'm gonna unpack the umbrella and stand. It is so hot outside today, so I'm excited to have an umbrella. <laughs> a tall man with his umbrella. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, that is literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. The tassels. Oh my goodness, how adorable. That's really yes. cute. All right, we freshened up a little bit and changed because we're gonna go to downtown Nashville. Woo. Ooh, we never go there. But I've got on the Walmart knit tank that I showed you guys yesterday, some Abercrombie ripped black jeans because we're going to be inside eating and then some black aloha sandals i got these last year i believe and then i've got on my chanel bag which i haven't brought her out at all this spring 
or summer because I typically like black bags for like fall and winter. But I thought she deserved a night out on the town. So she's coming with and this is my outfit. if he looks like a tourist with his natural hat on. And then I said, do I look like a tourist with a camera? <laughs> Literally walking around downtown Nashville. We came here to get Elixir coffee and it's sadly closed. Here's the Ryman. is known for. We're in the Carhartt store and they have little dog chore coats. So adorable. That was a lot hot. I did my custom lipstick shade. And then after I finished up there, I forgot to update you, but you just saw that we were in the dining hall on 5th and Broadway and it was crazy. <laughs> so many people obviously coming here on a Friday night was just a mistake, but it's, it's good people watching, so it's fun. And then I got steam boys, so I got dumplings and bao, and then he got chicken, chicken tiki masala. Tiki masala. <laughs> Um, Real authentic uh, interview going on down here. Yes. We ended up going to the bathroom before we were leaving because we're actually going bowling now. Some of our friends texted us while we were at that lip lipstick event. You're turning what are you doing? No one knows how to drive in Nashville. That's another thing. So we're going bowling now. But on our way out, we were like, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And I was waiting in line in the women's restroom. And these women were screaming like the, at the top of their lungs and not like yelling at each other, just screaming woo. Like so loud, it literally sounded like a siren and Jason texted me from the men's bathroom and he said, we got woo girls literally screaming. Like they were screaming in a bathroom in the dining hall. And these are like 55 year old women. If you're coming to Nashville and you're 55 and you're screaming in assembly food hall, just stop. Please, just please else. stop for the rest of us. <laughs> Guys, I think Nashville just brings things out of people. I think people just turn into different forms of themselves from this city. I don't know. Everyone is just crazy. Like we saw one guy just like walking down the street like this. I don't Look at this, babe. This is my beloved city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where I come from. Yes, these are our people. <laughs> 
you haven't been to Nashville. Tourist today, local. It's tomorrow. tourist city. If That's you've so been to Nashville, you know what I'm talking about. And maybe you are a woo girl and you just like yelling woo. I just feel like, do we? But in a public bathroom. Girls? If you follow us, do you follow us because you think we're also woo girls? Have you picked up on the fact that I'm or not do you a feel woo like girl? We're not a woo girls. Just comment below your honest uh, opinion. But anyway. <laughs> It's fine, sorry. Nashville really does bring it out of people. I think people come here and they just, they just, what happens in Nashville stays in Nashville vibes is what I'm getting from people down here. It's the Las Vegas of the Midwest, baby. It's Nash Vegas. <laughs> it really is. I though. guess that is it actually really is. true. It's That's Vegas. a good point. Um, and it, it's just gotten wilder and wilder mm -hmm. every year. Anyway, now we're off to go bowling. And. That's what the tourists do. I got my Nashville hat on. I'm trying to bowl. I'm trying to bowl. The tourists do not bowl, by the way. That was a joke. It's true. There's a place called Pins, though, which is kind of touristy downtown. It's like mini bowling and like, it's like an arcade. But if you want like authentic bowling, which, why would you come to Nashville and yeah. go to an authentic, just uh, grimy bowling place? Authentic $2 bowling. <laughs> go to Donaldson. Donaldson Bowls, where was I at? Wow. Nashville! Yeah! So fun! Extreme experience. Can somebody tell me what is extreme about this It bus? literally is just public transportation bus. That is literally just an old bus that they bought. And painted on extreme. Like, well, if we call it extreme. But they have a neon sign in there, so it's good. It's a good mm -hmm. time. They're dancing like it's good. I'm worried. I'm worried for you, extreme bus. I'm stressed. What is extreme about... The environment's extreme. I mean, there are some that I'm like, well, at least like you put in some effort to make it like cool, like the, the boat or barge like the ones. the pedal taverns. The pedal taverns. Those are cool. Even the buses that they chop off and put crap on, I'm like, okay. True, where you at least get a view. Well, at least you did something. That is literally a bus painted teal, and it says extreme. Ex it's like, it's a luxury experience. It's like, just because you put luxury in front of it doesn't <laughs> make it a luxury experience. Like, it actually has to be. Anyways, my rant. It doesn't serve. <laughs> it does not serve the, the audience. But anyway, downtown Nashville, y'all. Come to Nashville. Please come to Nashville. Please come to Nashville. <laughs> See, that's what you should invest uh, in, like the pedal tavern. Time. It's called the party bike. The extreme party bike. This one's different from the pedal tavern. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Not confused with the pedal tavern. The pedal tavern's the OG and that's where you should place your money if but you're gonna spend least, money on a moving vehicle you where you gotta, can drink. At least they made a vehicle with intention for this purpose. I was like, right? I don't even think the pedals do anything because that thing started moving and when nobody was pedaling. Yeah, they definitely don't do anything, but. There'd be too much liability if that actually did did something. For sure. I will say I do love Nashville and mm -hmm. if you are from out of town, there is so much to do downtown that is walkable and fun and there's live music everywhere and it really, it's like nowhere else. There's live music in every single bar. Like, it is really cool. That's true. But we're really cynical <laughs> because we never come down here. Because you live here. You don't do these types of things if you live here. Maybe That's, you do. Don't, I don't. Don't let her tell you that. We party every night in Nashville. That's why living here is the best. <laughs> So at least with the bus that's like uh, approaching us here, at least they did something. Like yeah, they added that nice. It's upper not deck. like they just bought a bus and then we're like, all right, this is the this, this is, is the extreme. Party. It's like no, you paint the bus. There's a nice upper deck you on do, this one. You do something to it. There's no one in it. It's kind of jank. There's no one in it. There's effort. It, it's there, going to pick up its, it's load. It's true. It's clear. But, it's load. <laughs> It's going to pick up some ingredients for the night, but I just feel like at least you can tell that it's like some intention and some thought yeah, there. They're not just trying more, to make a buck, even it's though more they obviously are. And intentional. But I just feel like the extreme experience is just it's a, a lie. It's just a sad version of like what yeah a party bus should be. It was a lazy version. Yeah. Yeah. I'm disappointed in the extreme experience. So rate that one we just saw out of 10. I mean, honestly, that's still on the lower end for me. That one's probably, I think extreme experience, obvious. Two. No, 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 obvious one. There's not one worse than that. No, there's been worse. What's worse? There's not one that's worse than that. Than that Babe, that was just a city bus painted. <laughs> and with an, ex like, there's nothing, it's a one. That's the bottom, that sets the bottom. Okay. That is the floor. I would put that one probably like at a four. Like, it looks yeah. pretty dirty. It looks like a dive bar, basically, which is like fine. Yeah. I'm just not a dive bar kind of guy. I'd rather go drink wine, you know? So, I don't know. Yeah, four. I'd say that would probably four. Four, and then maybe like a five, 
depending on if you like that vibe. Yeah, like that one. That one feels like seeing a show at the end, which like some people are into that. Or like going to like Mickey's or Dina's. It's like that's like yeah, not a bad vibe, but it's just like it's just not, not my your vibe. vibe. Yeah, so, so like a four to five. Fee four. Four or five, that kind of spot. Yeah. yeah. But still, you're not getting the workout as you would on the pedal tower. That, this is true. This is so, so true. So that one, you're really getting more for your money. Getting a workout, an excursion, and drinks. Oh, yeah. At least you get, like, the open air experience. True, the breeze. I just, the extreme experience. Like, <laughs> I just keep going. I just can't get off. There's just truly nothing redeemable about. It's true. You're, like, in it a is, cage. It is just a bus. Yeah. Well, they, did it's you see It's a small they, bus. Like, would they, I even be able to stand on the bus? The, they cut out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. It's just a bus. They cut out some of the sides and they, did you see they patched it with like plexiglass? So it's like, it's there's not like normal windows like a bus. They did, they did do some modifications to it. But it feels like it made it worse. Like yeah. you can't open the windows. There's no they open just, windows and no airflow. They just took out the windows. <laughs> I don't know, man. That, that sounds pretty extreme. No airflow. You're hot and sweaty. Yeah, I, guess, I guess it is the extreme extreme. <laughs> Just got to Donaldson Bowl. There's nobody here. <laughs> Thought maybe it was closed. But I'm gonna try out my lipstick shade. I just used the Merit complexion stick to spot conceal and then also to like retouch up around my mouth because I had been wiping the shades off my mouth while I was doing the lipstick matching or color making so this whole area looked awful but I love this thing because you can just apply it and then blend it out with your finger really good for that on the go this is my lipstick here it says lip lab by bite and hey all she is lip lab love <laughs> lip lab love this, I engraved it with the number 33 because our anniversary is 33 and I was drawing a blank, honestly, for names. I just could not pull anything out. So I went with an anniversary date because Jay Watts was there and I was like, this is kind of special. This is the shade right here. She cute, a little bit pink, a little bit nude. And they write down your recipe. So if you want to like go back and make another one, they have it on file. I did the satin one with the peppermint. It's like super light peppermint. But we're gonna try it on and just see what it looks like. And there you have it. It's my lip color. Nice and minty. Okay, I feel like this lighting might be a little bit better because it was very cool on the dash, but it's a really pretty, like, fun summer shade. It's cute. Back from bowling, Jaywaz bowled a 160. What? Eight. 168. My best bowl was game three. I bowled a 117. And we're gonna end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us for the last couple days. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you want to stick around for some more videos. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.